update. Not sure what number update. However, I have finished putting together all of the Halloween fabric. There's still a giant mess in here, obviously. So that's now all on that side. Let's just move this box out of the way. Oh, I just boxed myself in. <laughs> so all that fabric now is accessible and I can see what it is. Fat quarters down the bottom. Had to start a new box today. Found more at Spotlight this morning. Now I'm working on Christmas. And this is all the Christmas fabric so far that I could find. There may be more at the bottom of other boxes. I just haven't looked that closely in them. There was some in this box. These two boxes. Two boxes there. Yes, there's two boxes there. We're full of it. And there's, um, yes, that table is now full of it. I'm going to iron them to get them into these squares, sort them out, colour coded the same way I've got these colour coded by background. So it goes black, purple, purple. Um, they could actually go together. I don't know why I've got them separated. Doesn't matter, work it out later. Anyway, so. I have got some of the purple over the, oh that's right the this these two rows here that's synthetics these two rows here are all cottons I'll do the same with the um, Christmas fabric there is a lot of miscellaneous who the heck knows all oh, that silk what is in here and why that is, of course, for when I get down to just non-themed stuff, I guess. Oh, isn't that a nice colour? A nice bit of satin. Anyway, so that's what I'm up to so far. It's taking me forever. It's a big job, but I just don't have enough time to actually spend consistently working on it but anyway for now we'll see how this goes now we are up to the rest of our fabric stash <coughs> whoops there's some of the dolls that we've made in the past Unfinished and finished. <coughs> it's a pile of cotton. I've sorted them out into fabric type at the moment, even though they're going to be sorted into colour so that I can work on one pile at a time and have the iron set to that fabric type for the whole pile. That's our panel velvet pile. Which may be a little excessive. These are all the fat quarters. Most of the fat quarters. I'm pretty sure there's some still in that pile that just have been unfolded and not refolded properly. <coughs> Pardon me. And I ran out of containers so I had to go back to using some of the old containers until I can get down to Kmart to get some more. Of the others so we have scrap Halloween scrap Christmas and I'm going to need another one for scrap normal not that our scraps are usually quite large since they're enough to make doll clothes out of and those two things which I will eventually replace with the clear containers down the end there I have <coughs> put some oh well, this is all set up now it's got the upholstery fabric on it or most of it there's still some in the piles I have this is going to be my pegboard it's just a piece of old mesh that we've reused and reused and reused it's quite thick this is quite thick 
strong wire so you can just see by that how strong it is and all I've done is put some Gorilla Tape around the edges because these things are quite sharp I was going to put pool noodle around the edges but I don't have any blue I only have the orange ones left so I might do that later on but that's ready to hang up the cotton reels are hung up with all of our gudeman we don't use any other sort of cotton in our machines we use gudeman only we do use birch cotton for hand sewing but not for the machines only because we prefer it our machines are fairly new so they can take birch without an issue we just prefer gudeman and i'm going to need more of those boxes there one of the lids has gone missing it's the you know mystery of the missing lid it's in this room somewhere but i'll be buggered if i can remember what i did with it that is not enough to house all these so we're going to need more of those well that's okay once i get around to going down to kmart that will happen i'd like to continue to i want to finish all of this first so before i go and buy any more of those <coughs> sort of things i would like to know what i need and then there's the piles of mess that are now all over our desks which i will end up fixing these are some crazy quilt pieces that mum made us during covid she made our um face masks on a an old hand crank machine that i bought for her because she lives off grid and these are all the scraps thereof and she just sewed them together just in case we might like to make them into something and we probably will I don't know what but we probably will and here's whoop, some more so that might be a project for another day or another video I should say although she didn't put all of the Halloween ones together she kind of mixed them up a little bit but never mind and then we have this one which has got Christmas and Halloween next to it oh dear oh well and then this last one so she made all those I don't know what I'm going to use them for but we'll figure that out later so all of most of this stuff sitting there that's projects waiting to be sewn they're little uh, table mats and um, little uh, bags like um, tarot bag and tarot mats and uh, bags for tarot cards and tarot mats to go in that stuff there i think is or most of it is silk actual 100 percent silk instead of polyester or satin not entirely sure what i'm going to do with that either i'm not really a silk sewer but anyway that is it so far this these ones look a lot messier oh, how about i zoom out it's probably better those ones look a lot messier than what i'm happy with but anyway so we have Halloween and I've changed it up a bit because kind of running out of room so Halloween both cotton and synthetic then we're going to have the synthetic colors then we have Christmas both cotton and synthetic then we're going to have all of these solid colors in cotton over there we have the licensed material sitting just in the one spot at the moment I've got a lot more licensed fabric but that's going to move over here so I'll put it in amongst here and we'll rejig this up once 
we get that organized it still looks like a bit of a mess but <laughs> it's organized chaos so they say in these boxes these two boxes and oh there's the lid I knew it would turn up um and those folders they're all patterns doll patterns toy patterns patterns left right and center some clothes patterns in this one but not many and that's our spare machine that we do the small uh, drawstring bags on because it has a small shoulder compared to the other two that can all go back and there here we have the leftover sewing boxes <laughs> stuff everywhere i don't know what i'm going to do with those probably just put them online see if i can just move them on um but this room is actually able to be walked around again i just gotta find somewhere for all that stuff oh, i was gonna hang those things up right though that i will do when i get off here that stuff oh all this stuff over here they're all crystals and bits and pieces that i have in my etsy shop I still have to find a home for them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all the patterns. I think I'm going to move all the stuff that is in this one over to this one somehow and put the patterns on that one, maybe. Because there's probably no room for the pattern, not that many patterns anyway, in here. And I think they're too heavy. Um, when those new connectors come and I replace them, I might, I might also put them take a couple of these and put them in here i don't know we'll see how it goes but that so far is what's going on i'm going to attack that pile today panne velvet is very slippery stuff it probably will not like being ironed at all but we'll have a go and see if we can't get it to sit properly and sit in its respective colored slots Essentially, most of this is now complete. I might replace those two and these two with the same wire cube system that's in the other room. I have to set up the table and put these back up because they're things I'm working on. I have cleared as much of that except for the stuff that I'm working on <clears throat> the lighting in here is really terrible I lost a globe this morning <coughs> so I have to go and get some more of those um, the patterns are now all on this bookcase all of the incense making and the made up incenses stuff is now on that one and this is the new sewing room I got rid of the portable clothes hanger and hung up those fabrics on their pit on the curtain rail because the portable clothes hanger thingy was just not strong enough to take it it just kept bending so i gave up here's all of the cube units we have Halloween fabric in those two synthetic colors straight in the next two then we have Christmas fabrics in those two then from this row or column to this column is plain and patterned cottons and then in this column here is licensed materials and fabrics over here I am waiting on other storage things to arrive. So up the top is rolls of bits and pieces that I very rarely use. Tulle. Then we have wools or yarns, uh, cotton yarns, fluffy type yarns, lace bits, um, uh, binding bits and elastic rolls and stuff. Then the plastic boxes in the middle have got all scrap materials. There's Halloween, Christmas, normal scrap materials, synthetics and fluffy, furry materials and felt. Then just pins and bits and pieces. Then other tools. Then some of the dolls my daughter has made over the years. Um, the sewing boxes are actually empty. 
uh, panelled fabrics on the end there, buttons down the bottom in the boxes uh, above those reels of some sort of yarn, but I don't know what sort, uh, are all of the handmade uh, mats and bags that I've so far got on Etsy. The ironing stuff, the fluffy material, then more tools and the unfinished projects that I still have to get around to that I have actually cut out. Over here we have my desk, the spare machine in the middle and my daughter's desk and this is the homemade or handmade or repurposed pegboard out of mesh that I had and I just put Gorilla Tape around the edges to stop the edges from being sharp and cutting us and then you bought some of these are the hook thingies that I bought from Timu I don't know I think it was about ten dollars for and oh no, I sorry three dollars for ten so that's got all of the bits and pieces that we need at hand um, and then over here in this corner which is very very dark because we have no lighting over here is the cotton reels and the dressmaking mannequin that my daughter uses to make her costumes with and the crafting table actually fits in here now so we're going to keep it in here since I got rid of that other thing all in all it's pretty much done I've still got a few bits and pieces to do I've I will I don't know whether I'm going to pull them apart today I'm probably not going to do that today I'll probably start that tomorrow put together the other bits and pieces and rearrange that but it's pretty much now a functional working space what a relief it's taken weeks now I can get into the things that I want to get into and I can see everything and we can start making some magics or at least finishing off some Halloween stuff first <laughs> and then perhaps making some new stuff thank you so much for joining me on this journey it's been a while quite a few bits have been spliced together so if you would be so kind I'd really appreciate you to like subscribe and share and help out the channel and join me for the next fun-filled adventure in the world of Halloween and crafting thanks everyone bye